Hi, it's um, day two at IPC Apex Expo 2022 um, in San Diego. I'm joined by Eddie from SciScope. Thanks for coming over. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Um, just give me an overview of where ScienceScope is at the moment. You know, we've had two years where we haven't been able to get together and talk to people, so it's yeah. interesting to catch up, really. Right. Um, actually, uh, the last couple of years, uh, we are not really, you know, resting. Uh, ScienceScope has realized that um, the industrial automation will be the key because now it's getting harder to find people to work and also um, with this industrial 4.0 the the component counting and management needs to be more automated right now it's still handled mostly by human beings with the handheld barcode scanner yeah. so uh, so we brought to the show a bundle of solution right. yeah we have a incoming uh, component label uh, printer and we have a component counter right. and then we have also a smart rack so three combinations as three as uh, we're hoping to revolutionize the material management in the factory and save labors yeah mm -hmm. and that's I mean that's you know that's a huge efficiency saving isn't it for people because absolutely right now um, the machine are pretty smart right now. You see the pick and place, the reflow, the AOI, uh, SPI, they are all pretty automatic. But <laughs> before you load everything onto the pick and place machine and start the manufacturing, uh, the, those reels and the components has to be handled by hand. And this is the part that needs to catch up in order to be uh, industrial 4.0 yeah. compliant. For example, um, when you receive a, a brand new reel into your factory, you need to match your PO number and you need to assign a unique ID to the reels. And this has to be done automatically. Yeah. And it's interesting, you know, we've, we've talked for years about Industry 4.0 and, mm. you know, the idea of the lights off factory, those sort of things. And mm -hmm. it's, it's interesting now that these things are actually coming to fruition, aren't they? And actually being able to focus in on aspects of you know is the machines are one thing they're all you know very mm -hmm. intelligent and we've got data you know huge amounts of data that we can analyze yeah. but like you say it's all those processes around it right. that need to catch up with that exactly for example uh, I, uh, when you uh, have a, a storage tower right um, you, you will know exactly where all your component is and a smart regular that basically does the same thing, but uh, even more flexible because you can start with like two smart rags, up to all the way up to a hundred smart rags, and right. they can you can place them every, everywhere in, on the on the manufacturing floor. Yeah. And once you have a new work order, right, uh, you enter the new order into the computer system. The smart rag lights up. The light, the light comes on, so the operator can can go pick them up. Right. Uh, yeah. Without any mistakes. Yeah. 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 And as you say, you know, the issues around getting enough workers these days and mm -hmm. also of taking out, I mean, mm -hmm. de-skilling is a bit of a, yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm not a great fan of that word because it, mm -hmm. you know, it, it sort of has sort of connotations to it, but yeah. it's taking the hassle out of a lot of things, isn't it? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, some large corporations such as uh, Flex, JBL, they try to implement a no-touch policy. Right. Not, no touch, okay. exactly. Yeah. Because if you require the operator to hand, uh, hand scan the barcodes and then the printer label and then place it by hand, chances are he's going to place the wrong label on the wrong yeah. reel. Yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah. So uh, custom, uh, customer is, once they, they are actually searching for a solution, so once they load the reels onto the machine, no touch because yeah. it, communi it scans the label, communicate with the MES system, the MES system send back the instruction of the label to print, and the robot pick the label and place on the reel. Right. All fully automatic, yeah. no touch, no human intervention. So, so that's the goal. And I guess the business knows exactly what stock they've got uh, every time and where that stock is in their factory. Exactly. That is also critical because, you, first of all, you have the real uh, time upgrade of your inventory level. 
you always know how, how, how much inventory you have. So you will no longer be able to run into a situation where your production stop because yeah. you're missing components yeah. or short on components. That's very costly, first of all. And um, second of all, you, you were able to scrap um, some of the leftovers. Right. Yeah, like for example, a reels with a hundred or two hundred components left, right? Those are, you know, it's, you, you always try to find time to count them, but it's not worth your time because, it's, you know, uh, and so you basically put them into a, a, a room, a dark room, yeah. hoping that by the end of the year you will get to them, right? Yeah. We have one customer, uh, his name is called By M from Colorado. They have a room full of scraps. <laughs> and uh, the first week they purchased, purchased the machine, they were able to clear out the room and oh, save really? $40,000. $40,000, yeah. That's $40,000 savings. Yeah. 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 So True story. You can't argue with that, can you? Yeah, right. <laughs> so the, the key is not just the we are adding the automation to the whole inventory management. It's also uh, saving you money. So the return on investment usually is less than one year. Really? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We can you just consider the the scrap material you saved, the the, the human hours you save. You, you don't have to pour a uh, experienced uh, production engineer away to do the the counting. That yeah. is it, yeah, it's yeah. a waste of your yeah. money and his time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's fantastic. How those things are actually you know. All those areas have started to improve and converge, so you, mm -hmm. everything is connected, yes. isn't it? Yes. So the show you were saying earlier on yesterday was very busy for you, so you, you had some yes. good to meet uh, some customers. Yes. Yesterday we have some customers who are specifically looking for a solution like right. this, and 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 they all come in with appointments. We know they are coming, yeah. so we have a uh, time slot already filled yeah. for the whole day. Uh, this week, uh, today, maybe they um, send in love and going home. I, I, I don't know, but uh, today is a little bit slower a little than slower, expected. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, these it, it's interesting, you know, these events are starting to happen again. Productronica last year in, in Europe, mm -hmm. everyone went, went into it not really knowing what it would be like. Mm -hmm. um, but pe yeah. I think people were basically happy that people did come out in the end. And yeah. also, I think a lot of companies, exhibitors were saying to me that it's actually good to be able to talk to some of your competitors, some of your you know, <laughs> colleagues, those sort of things, which you don't, yeah. haven't had the chance to do. Absolutely. You know, I, you know I, I graduated with an MBA degree, but I remember my professor always said the best marketing is face-to-face -face yeah. marketing. So it's, it's good to come out you know, to feel the industry a little yeah. bit, talking to your colleagues and competitors, like you said, uh, to just to you know get their uh, pick the, the feelings about how we're in the market are doing. Yeah. And um, I believe, um, hopefully, once the Omicron is over, the com the country reopens in April, um, things will pick up real quickly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's an industry that has kept going and has has flourished almost you know with the you know especially you know, the way you know the, the the world has changed with electric vehicles and okay. electronics and mm -hmm. you know countless mm -hmm. household items mm -hmm. um, I get the feel that in some ways it's given businesses a chance to reassess the way they run their business mm. you know they know their products are right but right. actually be able to find new ways of working and some of those are going to carry them on into mm -hmm. you know once you know everything has opened up, has that has been the case for you? I believe so because um, the uh, the SMT industry uh, has been flourishing for many many years and will continue to flourish because uh, in in our daily life uh, the um, more and more is uh, more and more circuit board being used, large or small, uh, with the, also in the EV. Automotive, um, you know, picking up, uh, it's going to continue. It's just, uh, you know, people are really waiting for the reopening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's good. It's, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, exciting times ahead, hopefully. So. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for spending time to talk to us, Eddie. Good okay. to meet you. Yeah, and I hope the rest of the show is successful for you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.